Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, this one's actually going to be a pretty short one. Um, I just wanted to show everyone the exact bijou smashing process here. Um, pretty much, you come to uh, Yojamba Isle. You come to this altar right here. And this is where you uh, take your bijous. Any color works. And you smash them, and you get 75 reputation per bijou that you smash, and you get what's called a Zandalari Honor token. Now, you can use those tokens to get 25 reputation. Um, as you see in here, I'm about to hit Exalted. I've honestly been sort of slacking this, um, and I just wanted to finish this and give you guys sort of the exact details on how to do that. So why it's important that you get exalted especially um before aq is that you will have um your shoulder enchants and the shoulder enchants are based off of your class and every class has a different type of enchant mages have one of the best ones in the game being a um i think it's 18 spell power is what we get um, but w what you have to do is you have to get exalted and now if you've been running ZG a bunch You should be exalted by now. I was one off of it and Mainly because I've sort of slacked off on running ZG as well because I got almost every piece I needed I just really need the wand in there at, from Hakar and I'll have everything and sort of keeping up with it has been a, a lot of work um, But anyway, we are smashing all these bijous. Everything's going good. We're gonna have our rep by the end of smashing these couple bijous right here and then we're going to walk over here and I'm going to show you how to get your shoulder enchants now it's important that you have 15 honor tokens and also something that I did is I went through and sort of planned out all the shoulder upgrades I'm going to get for the rest of the expansion to know that I'm probably only gonna need two to three more of these so what I did is I got my rep to about that point and then I went and smashed these bijous um, in order to get to that 45 mark for three enchants um, that's something I would highly recommend doing um, one because it puts use to the rep so right there we just hit exalted feels amazing you know another rep complete and finished we can tag that up and now that we have successfully turned in those bijous we're going to be at 40 tokens um, I imagine I will get about five more or probably more than five uh, doing uh, ZG trying to get my wands um, but also if you have tokens you can come here and turn them into this guy for them you need a sand fairy soul a skull splitter and blood scalp for one of those for one of the three sets, Agorabashi, Vile Branch, and Witherbark, and then Azulian, Rosari, and Hakari um, set. They're in sets of three, so they don't intermingle. So if you have three of those sets, you can go turn that in, and that will also earn you a coin. And what you need is 15 coins, and then you walk right over here, and you're able to talk to him, and then be like Singets of Zandalar. You press that, and then you're able to get... 30 attack power to a shoulder you can get um, 18 healing and magic or you can get 33 healing so I'm not sure why damage and magic are together but as a caster I'm going to take that one so that's it for the shoulder enchants guys that's how you do it it awards no rep because you're already exalted um, and you can have multiple of these um, something I'd like to try to see is if you can put them on um, someone let's actually ask this guy real quick let's see if he can put his shoulders in trade real quick Alright, let's see. Okay, so I cannot use that enchant on his shoulder. So that's something huge to know. Alrighty, huge shout out to that guy. Yeah, so you cannot enchant that unless it is your own item. I just wanted to see that because the Libram enchants, they still do work from phase 1 and 2. 
However, I know they changed a lot of the ZG one, so the ZG Exalted Enchant cannot be put on other people's things. Alrighty, guys. And then the other enchants, um, I have a, wa a walkthrough on that um, on my priest. There's already another video out on that of me going through ZG, having the stuff, and who you talk to with that. So if you're interested in getting your um, legs or helm enchants, check that video out um but all in all you just talk to a dude at the top of the temple in the back of zg um right before the trial boss and the uh tiger or the raptor boss the boss that drops the raptor and the arena trial that you summon um he's in between those two spots and you just need your class voodoo doll as well as one of the enchant uh primal idols that two drop within that instance and then you can get those and then you can apply them to head and legs definitely these are class based so just wanted to make sure you know that and definitely uh just wanted to share all that share me getting exalted and i hope this helps you sort of understand i've been getting a ton of questions that's why i'm making this video in order to show you guys how you can get those enchants and everything Alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.